Thanks for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading is titled, Spiritual Driving, and it was written by Adam Holes. I don't remember many specifics about my driver's education class, but for some reason, an acronym we learned, S-I-P-D-E, remains firmly lodged in my memory. The letter stood for Scan, Identify, Predict, Decide, and Execute, a process we were taught to practice continually. We were to scan the road, identify hazards, predict what the hazards might do, decide how we'd respond, and then, if necessary, execute that plan. It was a strategy for being intentional to avoid accidents. I wonder how that idea might translate to our spiritual lives. In Ephesians 5, Paul told Ephesian believers, Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Paul knew certain hazards could derail the Ephesians, old ways of living at odds with their new life in Jesus. So he instructed the growing church to pay attention. The words translated, be very careful then how you live, literally mean, see how you walk. In other words, look around, notice hazards, and avoid personal pitfalls like drunkenness and wild living. Instead, the apostle said, We can seek to learn God's will for our lives while, with fellow believers, we sing to and give Him thanks. No matter what hazards we face, and even when we stumble, we can experience our new life in Christ as we grow in dependence on His boundless power and grace. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 through 20. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful, then, how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for not leaving us alone to find our own way. As we go throughout our day, please help us to keep our eyes focused on where you are leading and our minds alert to potential hazards that may lead us down the wrong road and into situations that could be harmful to us and to others. May our lives display your presence and goodness so that others may see you in us and seek to follow you as well. Thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.